Again, lots of talk about the recession. The yield curve has inverted. If you're not sure what that is, look it up. But over the last 50 years, when the yield curve inverts, it is one of the most consistent recession indicators. That, coupled with the stock market dropping 800 points in August and bouncing up and down since, has caused a lot of talk about a recession being closer than we thought. So what does that mean for the U.S. housing market? Hi, I'm Jen O'Hanlon with Wallace & Company, Sotheby's International Realty. Interestingly enough, homeowners in the U.S. have over $6.3 billion in equity in their homes. Only 4.1% of homeowners have negative equity. Back in 2010, homeowners had 25% 0.3% negative equity. So as we think about a recession and how it relates to the housing market, we need to look at factors like this. With $6.3 billion of equity in homes, homeowners aren't going to bail out. Also, according to the Urban Institute, over 37% of homes don't even have a mortgage on them. During the last crash, people were taking equity out of their homes and buying boats and cars. They were using their homes as an ATM machine. But now they are keeping their money in their homes and that's why 30% of homes are mortgage-free and we have 6.3 billion in equity. Let's see what CoreLogic thinks. They break down their anticipated increase in appreciation. If you look at this graph, all states with the exception of Texas are seeing an increase in appreciation. According to the Home Price Expectation Survey, all the analysts are saying that we are going to see appreciation between the next two and four years, depending on how far out each organization makes their predictions. The reason I feel it's important to talk about this is because with all the hype of a recession, we need to truly know what that means to the housing market and not let the fear of what happened in the last recession control our thoughts and emotions about what we should do or shouldn't do. As Ali Wolf, the director of economic research says, quote, as people having PTSD from the last time, they're still afraid of buying at the wrong time. But we need to know the differences between 2008 and now. As Jeff Tucker, Zillow economist states, quote, the housing crash during the Great Recession left a lasting impression. But as we look ahead to the next recession, it's important to recognize how unusual the conditions were that caused the last one and what's different about the housing market today. Rather than an abundance of homes, we have a shortage of new home supply. Rather than risky borrowers taking on adjustable rate mortgages, we have buyers with sterling credit scores taking out predictable 30-year fixed rate mortgages. The housing market is simply much less risky than it was 15 years ago. Bottom line is that this is a totally different time and many of the economic indicators are just not the same. The ease of getting a loan back then and the types of loans that were available is not what we're seeing today. So let's not make this something that it isn't. I feel it's important we know the facts as many times the media is not telling us everything and they love to get those negative headlines out there because they sell more. So that's the news on the national front. But remember to check out my vineyard market update as the market here continues to be strong with sales ahead this month over last year. Thanks for watching and have a great day.